I am here at the Trainers Building in Shelbyville, Tennessee, and I am with none other than longtime board member Carlisle Johnson. Come and, on. Uh, Carlisle, y'all getting ready for a big show? We are getting ready for a big show. Um, the 54th Annual National Trainers Show coming up in about three weeks. Mm -hmm. Well, I know it's a big job, but yeah. I want to let people know a little bit about Carlisle Johnson before we start. Uh, Carlisle not only is a board member, but now he has trained some pretty good winglings in the past, and I know that for a fact. But you also run a business which you cater to the walking horse industry, mainly at Betco. Betco Vet Pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. I have since uh, sold that and now I'm retired. But yes, for 16 years. You got years, to retire? I, yeah, well, you know, that's kind of up for debate. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you say you retire, but it seems like you get more busy when you retire. But uh, yeah, I, it was a veterinary only pharmacy. First one in the state of Tennessee started in 2005. We did it for about 16 years. And uh, we were we felt like we were welcomed by the community and the vets in the area and mm -hmm. had pretty good support and grew every year. So, yes, that was true. Uh, mm -hmm. And although um, I'm not really a board member, um, I have been uh, elected by the board to co-chair this year's trainer show with D. Cantrell. Right. And so uh, I'm a co-chairman of it. Uh, uh, they wanted me to do it, and I, I told them, I said, man, it's been 20 years since I put on a show, so I said, I don't feel comfortable doing it by myself, and Dee has, Dee has um, been very, very, she's been very good at what she does. In fact, one of the things when we started this, Jerry, I want to say this uh, also, um, we decided that we wanted to try to do as good a job as we could. And we knew that to do that is going to probably be more than we could handle by ourselves. So we decided to form a committee. And I wanted to mention those, um, Beth Thomas, uh, Caitlin Rippey, uh, Sarah Smith, along with Melissa, the secretary of the tra trainers, and D myself, are the committee. And um, so far, and of course we kept uh, President Bill Young in line and, 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 and uh, informed of everything that we're doing. And um, out of all those women, you know, I've sort of have adopted the role of the gopher do. Do you know what a gopher do is? I, I'm, I'm fixing to find <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I consider myself to gopher do, I'm the one that, that is the go, go for this and go for that, that and or do this and do that. Now, these women have done then a, a gopher great, is what gopher, you're saying. Gopher, but do, you know, I had to add the gopher do, do too. <laughs> yeah, so, so these, these women have done a tremendous job uh, for the Trainers Association in putting this show together. We're not totally uh, through with it yet, but um, if it comes off the way we have it planned, it's going to be one of the best shows we've had in several years, I believe. All right. So well, I'm going to make a point, a statement about that. Go ahead. Uh, you know how women talk. Oh yeah. Well, and this is a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing. Uh, I had breakfast with uh, one of your judges the other day. Okay. And uh, I eat breakfast with Robbie quite often. Yeah. Me and her and Boyd and just a bunch of us. Okay. And uh, there's yours some more, but she said, you know, Carlisle is working hard on this. <laughs> now, that had to come from all the other women <laughs> yeah. that's on that committee letting her know how hard you're working on it. Well, well uh, you know, I am uh, I have done a little bit, but I, I just want to commend all the effort of everybody on this committee, how much they've worked. Uh, and, and, of course, Bill has actually helped a lot, too. Um, but, but Bill's kind of like me, you know, he's... He's kind of taking the advice my granddaddy gave me. He said, boy, if you want to help, get over and get out of the way. You that's know? it. And that's, so, so Bill and I have kind of taken that role. Yeah. Well, I can tell you, though, I've, I've helped with several shows. I helped with the Equine Education Day and then especially for the different uh, charities for the, for the kids. Right. And I can tell you, I do not envy what you're doing <laughs> at all because it, it, I know the work that goes in, and I know the questions you get once people find out they can call you, uh, you get every question under the sun. And, and so it, it's, it's no joy, but to me, the shows, and I'm gonna point some things out that I've been told that y'all are doing. Number one, you're going to four days, We're going to four rather days. than three, to cut down on the time people are at the horse show each night, which 
I think is commend, to be commended. I truly do. You're going to start at 6 o'clock. 19 classes a night, I believe, somewhere. Correct. Y'all should be out of there by 10 or so. We, listen, we, we, Dee and I got our heads together, and we both, I tell you, it's been a privilege and, a, and a really a really fun thing to do to work with Dee. But she and I agree so much on so many things. And one of them was is that it's the things we wanted to accomplish for the show and for the Trainers Association. Uh, of course, we wanted to try to generate as much money. That's a given. But in order to do that, we wanted to, to put on a show that would um, reinvigorate attendance at the show and re um, and, 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 and energize, I guess would be the correct word to say there, for, for the spectators. If you're not training a horse or exhibiting a horse and you come to watch the show, it's just entertainment for right. those folks. And we have taken that approach. Uh, I mean, of course, we want to put a great horse show on. But we also want those people that are coming to be spectators to be entertained. And there's certain downtimes, and there's nothing that kills a show worse than sitting there waiting for someone to come in the ring or somebody's getting off, has to put a shoe back mm -hmm. on, things like that. Right. So we are decided that we're going to do some things differently this year. And in those down times, and I'm going to kind of lead right into part of this, what we want to talk about was, um, you know, we're going to, to um, ask trivia questions. And we'll probably do th maybe three, maybe four, I don't know, depending on time. You know, and, and, um, and another part of what I want to get into the, what we're trying to do is the, the, the audience or the spectators, but also to reinvigorize and invigorate the, the uh, businesses in our community. And so with this trivia, even though it's fun and exciting, uh, everybody's going to, I think, love it, we're also going to be able to promote local businesses because they have given gift cards to the winners or the people who answer the questions. Hey, that's and they're going, to give, they're going to give gift cards, and we're going to hand these gift cards out, telling who gave them and all this kind of stuff. So we're going to be able to promote local businesses at the same time providing fun for the spectators. So we think that's going to be good. It, it, it will be good. A lot of people, Carlisle, we, we did a program the other day called Just Living to where uh, I was asked to sit in on it and talk about the upcoming horse show and what the Trainers Association and this show means to Bedford County and surrounding areas. And we talked about the influx of taxes and everything, but people don't realize, but during the Trainers show, there's going to be several, several thousand dollars brought in to Bedford County alone for taxes. Now, that's, that's not right. counting. I'm, I'm in Tullahoma, but yeah. we feel it over there. The restaurants feel it. Yes. And this yes. is things that people need to realize that when you come to the horse show, it, 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 it's just a great thing to see what goes on and see the camaraderie and everything else. So, it is. It is. And of course, you know, it's gradually coming back. Um, we, we, we have certain battles that we're still fighting, but it's gradually building back. Celebration is actually getting better and more people are attending and they're, doing, they're going to be doing some fun things, I think, from what I've heard, you know, to try to get people back on the grounds during the daytime right. and stuff. And so, and this is, we're, we're just doing our part for the industry. You know, we're just one part, one facet of this industry, the Trainers Association. And, and, uh, and we're just trying to make this as fun and as good and as successful a show as we possibly can. Another thing that we're going to do this year uh, that they used to do at the celebration is that we're going to have some amateur judging too. Um, you know, we, I guess we're trying to um, initiate, I guess, we'd mm -hmm. say some new blood, <laughs> so to speak, if you will. Uh, and we're going to have on Wednesday and Thursday night, there'll be three, three uh, amateur judges judging Wednesday and three Thursday. We'll, they will not be interacting with the judging at all. They will right. all be separated. Uh, and we'll take those cards, compare them, and then we're going to um, reward the winner on Friday night. And they'll get a little something for, for their efforts. And That's good. So that, that'll be good, and, and it'll be kind of good for the crowd, too, to see who's, who was the best judge, you know. Yep. You, you, I go out to Lady Leverage and talk to a lot of horse people. I mean, yeah. and, and one of the things that was stayed, said out at Lane one day was, if you want the best judging that's there, 
and you're at the celebration, go around and pick out five little of the little gray-headed ladies <laughs> that's got a book in their hand. And they said, then you open that book and look how they tied that class and you're probably going to have the winner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and that that's exactly it, right. People don't realize that a lot of people in the stands, they, they're judges. They, they they've been these, They've seen these horses for years and they know. They know a good one when they see it. They do. I've often said, and have said for many years, that those people in that West Grandstand at the celebration oh. are capable of judging the celebration. They just need to learn the rule book. That, That's well, all they, they learn the rule book, you know. and, and, but the cheering, because when, when, when they get rowdy now, <laughs> and they get behind the horse, they get behind him. They do. And, they and do you know, there, there's one thing a lot of people don't realize. I don't know how many times I do know that last year, you know, it didn't, but I can remember back when we first started, uh, Rowdy Rev had won the, the trainer show, and uh, I was told that probably going to be the horse that wins the celebration, and it was. Now, last year, uh, Rosie's won, uh -huh. and uh, of course, didn't win the celebration, but he went on to win several shows during the year. Sure. So there's a good chance that a lot of the horses that we see at the trainer show, we're going to see several times through the year. Exactly. And we're going to see them at the come celebration time. It's They're going to be right back in there. It's going to be a great uh, yardstick for, uh, for those who follow the horse. Right. You know, to start off with the trainer show and, and see who's the winners and, and watch them throughout the year to see how they end up at the celebration. That's a great yardstick mm -hmm. for those people that do that. So now you've got some other bullets. They done told me, she said, I'll get with him and we'll have some bullets that we want to go well, over. I do want to talk just a minute, though, a thing that, that the trainers have, have adopted. And, 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 and Dee and I agreed, and we carried it before the board, you know, that we wanted to do this. And the board voted to, to do it, and they thought it was a good thing to do. And we have aligned ourselves with a charitable group. Uh, this year, it's the Center for um, uh, Family Development. Benita Caldwell is actually the director of that, and this, this uh, organization is just about in every county in, in Middle Tennessee, and it's a great, great organization. Um, they help in parenting uh, homes. Um, they recognize problems with families, and they go in and assist in any way that they need to. They also have this relative program where uh, relatives will go in and take care of ch 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 kids that need a home rather than allowing them to go into the um, the state custody and foster, and, and foster homes. homes and things and so and they try to help those people as much as they can they're always needing money and they do a great job and um, I know I'm, I'm glad and proud to be associated with them and so a certain percent of our proceeds is going to go mm -hmm. to help them mm -hmm. out and I think it is a worthy cause and Certainly, uh, the board evidently did too because they didn't even hesitate. They said, yeah, that's going to help. And I'm going to tell you something else. Uh, it, it has ha actually helped our show as well because when you say that you're going to, uh, you tell them and we're, part of this is going to go to a charitable group, it makes giving so much easier. I mean, well, they want to yeah. give. They that, that's give. fantastic. Yeah, man, it is. So, uh, but anyway. Um, you know, Carlisle, I'm going to just say this right quick. Uh, the, knowing... I do not know of one horse show that does not support. Because through the years, y'all may not have a designated, but I know years ago, Feed the Children. And right. through the years, it, it's done different things. But I have watched the trainers carry Christmas gifts. I've watched them do a little bit of everything. When we did the equine education, there was not one trainer that said they was too busy. Every one yeah. of them said, yes, we come. But when you get to helping children, it's like that's one thing that makes Alabama so great. Yeah. Camp Smile about. Yeah. And those people now they come out of the woodwork. They do. And they I'm do. this right here is <laughs> is to see the joy on a little kid's face. Oh. And and because if you, you've got different things, Haven of Hope and different places that support families that that need the support yes uh, but something like this now I'm, I'm telling you it, it's it's needed it is and needed. but Benita Caldwell I mean 
she, she's like an angel when she's floating by. <laughs> so uh, that, that, that's a great, that, that, to me, that is a great charity for the trainers to be about because when you look at it, there's nothing that I like better than see a little kid oh. on a big horse. And I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that 100%. And these, these people here do a marvelous job of what they do. We've talked with Benita. Benita, of course, we've known Benita. She's lived in the horse business for a long time. And, and I didn't really realize until I got affiliated with this that she was the director. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. and, and it's really uh, been um, a, a receptive, real receptive thing to be able to work with her on this. And she's, done, she's helped us and, and going to help us do some things. Uh, and uh, we hope that we can help her a lot as well. Now, let's talk about the show. Oh, let's go. Okay. Yep. The show is going to be uh, March the 16th through the 19th, and like you said, we used to be three days, we're going to four days now, um, and we're not gonna have more than 19 classes per night, which means all you folks listening in, that if you're hesitant about being out late at night, you can forget that because we're gonna try to get you home no later than 11 o'clock. Well, so, so we're gonna try to, try to uh, keep the show moving, keep it fun and exciting. Uh, also a little warning to the trainers, we're probably going to have a time clock on the gate. So we're going to try to keep this thing rolling uh, and, and, and not have much downtime when they're coming in. So we'll probably do that. Um, for the, and, and we've got 79 classes. We've got 29 Riders Cup classes, five times the ridership uh, points. Um, the um, uh, office, I guess, here will be on the grounds. So it'll be open from 9 to 12 you know if you want to register and from three to six um, you can register those uh, have to be registered by noon cannot be any scratches after three o'clock so uh, that's just some things that for that we're going to have some great vendors um, we were just talking to mel uh, a while ago um, we've got probably more than twice as many vendors this year as we did last year that's good that's, that's really good. good that's really good um, and so we're going to have a lot of vendors around uh, talk with breeders. They're going to have their satellite office open on the grounds. Uh, but people need to go by, ask a question, visit with them. Um, also, a little heads up to trainers. If you, if, if you want to join the breeders, they're, gonna, they're offering a discount <laughs> to trainers to join. So go by there and, and support the breeders. Um, and um, also just a reminder to the trainers that your license is due the Saturday the 19th. So. That'd be a good time while you're here at the show and showing to take care of that little bit of business. But, uh, but anyway, we just really hope to have um, a good show this year. Um, we got a lot of local businesses involved. Uh, we're going to be fun, uh, and we just want everyone to try to come out. And, well, that, that's and the whole I do want to add one thing to what you said, though, because it, to me, in Bedford County, especially, this is important. Uh -huh. You had said that Benita was affiliated with the horse industry in yeah. the past. You're going to be surprised how many charities and nonprofits that you look at in Bedford County and surrounding areas that the people who donate their time and a lot of times their money to help a charity are members of the walking horse industry. I agree. I agree. And you can find Virginia Stewart, others. They're all over the place, and these are people that they care, and uh, they do care, and they love the horses. Mm -hmm. They do, and, and 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 if you want to look at it this way, by supporting this show, you're you're accomplishing both goals. You're helping the horse you love and the, the charity, you know, part and of the it. businesses so, and the businesses too. So it's mm -hmm. a win-win for anybody that that wants to get involved in it, um, and we're really thankful. We've been blessed as a committee. Uh, for the response that we've had, um, and uh, we just want—we just want to try to put on a good show for everybody to come and enjoy. We right. really do, sure do. Well, well Carlisle, I appreciate you taking your time. And ladies and gentlemen, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, Cal Sonic starts at six o'clock. If you want to support a great charity, especially the trainers, because the trainers are a charity, believe me, buddy, because they—they yeah. work hard and get very little recognition, come to the trainer show and you're gonna see the best of the best, I promise.
And if you need to call the office, it's uh, 684-5866 is the number to the, to the office, or you can email at whtrainers at gmail.com. Get any kind of information you need. You got that, folks? Thank you, Carl. All right. Thank you. Thank you Appreciate for having us.